They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. There's no fire, you rebel, you more than. Mom and Dad have doing errands. It's my first time narrating all by myself. Can you narrate quieter, Brooke? Sorry, Kitty. There goes Bunny. She's meeting Alistair as a favor for Apple to get a list of who's in the chess club for yearbook. It's also the day of Bunny's first kiss. Except it's never gonna happen. Those two are way too deep in the friend zone. Let's see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry, I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. We're light on members. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. <Yeah. gasps> oh, sorry, I think I saw a rat. <laughs> Kitty, don't ruin the moment. In fact, let's just turn this story back a few pages. Hey, you can't do that. I just did. <clears throat> Bunny arrived at the gazebo. Aha! Uh -huh. Check. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry, I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. We're light on members. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. See? These two wouldn't smooch if you shoved them at each other. Oh, good idea. Just then, it began to rain cats and dogs. <laughs> Mostly cats. Oh, excuse me. Um, I I better go before I catch cold. But uh -huh. let's try this chapter once more from the top. Bunny arrived at the gazebo. Aha! Uh -huh. Check. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry, I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. Checkmate? Uh, um, you win. <laughs> Up for another game? I've seen better kisses on an envelope. When we let the story unfold naturally, it turned out just... Perfect. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Let's see some school spirit. Ow, ow! Who's pumped for the Tri Castleon? <laughs> Your spirit outfits are the best of the best. Cedar, today we should focus on the true best of the best. Can you snap some pics for the very last chapter of our yearbook? The tri Castleon is the sporting event that ends the school year. Here we have track and sheen. And after training hard all year, Cerise Wood takes the championship. Hunter Huntsman is a favorite in archery. Can't beat that. Best of the best. And the last event of the competition, Extreme Croquet. I am so happy we decided the yearbook should show the most perfect and imperfect moments of the year. Students, it's time to grow our Ever After annual yearbooks. Anyone who wants to witness the planting of this year's e-corn should hurry up to the legacy orchard. <laughs> we conclude with the ceremonial planting of the e-corn, traditionally planted at high noon. The e-corn, please. Apple? Raven? Is there a problem? Nope, no problem. Where's, Where's the, the e-corn? I thought you, you had, had it. it! Oh no, we left it on the bleachers! I have an idea! Got it! Don't tell me you girls lost it! It'll be planted in a matter of moments. Perfect. I 
love it. What a great year! Fine work, yearbook committee. We hope future classes will love reading this yearbook as much as we loved making it. Gather round, children. This yearbook was from a very special class, including the famous Apple White and Raven Queen. It's the first day of spring at Ever After High. Love is in the air. And so is pollen. Oh! <laughs> I'd better get my inhaler. <laughs> Who'd think a little hay fever could cause such big trouble? Huh? Cupid must have lost these awesome bow and arrows. I'd better find her. Hello, targets. Cupid probably won't mind if I try one shot. Huh? No way! Third time's a charm. Little did Hunter know, Cupid's arrows are heart-seeking. Love is a funny thing. <laughs> you never know where it will strike. for helping out on the yearbook in your free period, you guys. Great work. I hope you're as excited as I am. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Doc! Whoa! This place has gone lovesick! It's like a plague of loviness! <gasps> ah, much better. <gasps> Hunter has something of yours, Cupid. You're welcome. <gasps> Hunter! Um, couldn't you use your arrows to love potion everybody back to normal? You can't stop love. It's a force of nature. <gasps> but, oh, I have an idea! Listen up! You've all been infected with love fever. <laughs> Lucky for us, there's lots of kinds of love. These mood roses should help. Mood roses are an amazing flower only cherubs like Cupid can grow. They'll change color according to what kind of love the recipient really and truly feels. Yellow means friendship. Red means romance. Pink means meant to be together forever after. should have found the forest best by now. Let's all just take our mind off of our situation and think about other things. Ooh, boys! That's exactly what I was trying not to think about. I forgot Dexter was taking Raven to the movies tonight. Who knows? Maybe it won't go very well. I think I'll wear this bracelet. Or, um, maybe this ring. Oh, this necklace would look nice. It's a night at the movies, Raven, not a final exam. I know, I know. <sighs> I'm way more nervous than I expected. I mean, this is my first actual date with Dexter. He's here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that wood was your head. I, I mean, the door was your head. I mean, have some flowers. Thank you. They're, um... Beautiful! I forgot! Dark Queen, flowers, ah! That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just put them in some water. I'm so clumsy. I am so sorry, Dexter. No, no, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's totally my fault. Really, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry that you're sorry. <sighs> this place is... Really fancy, and, um... Maybe we should just go sit down. Watch your feet. Ow! How did I even do that? Should I get some snacks? I should get some snacks. <laughs> no, 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 I should stay. No, I should probably get some snacks. Snacks? I want snacks. <laughs> um... Now I need to go to the bathroom. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah! yeah. Raven? Dexter, I've got a confession to make. 
I am, like, really super nervous. You're nervous? But I'm nervous. We've got something in common. <laughs> so really, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's just be ourselves and enjoy the evening. <laughs> Raven. Shh. It's starting. I can't wait to see what comes next. Okay, everyone. Mr. Pied Piper, sir. So, I compose this enchanted song to make pesky here. Sort these walnuts. <laughs> Cut it out. A spectacular first try at melodic manipulation. Who's next? How about you, Melody? Sure thing, Dad. My song is gonna guide little Mouse Tro here to the cheese at the end of this maze. And now, to mix things up a bit. Turntables? You won't be able to control it. Dad! I can do this. Curses. I really thought that would work. Huh? I can't stop dancing. What the heck? Melody's magic is making us dance. What is the meaning of this? Oh, oh, whoa. I can't stop dancing. This whole school can't stop dancing, and it's all my fault. You have to get everyone dancing in sync. Hmm. Hey, Raven, I think these beats could use a little pick-me-up. Yay! Heck yeah! Now listen up and let DJ Piper move you. That's it. Now follow me. Hang on to those crowns. Because DJ Piper is about to work some magic. Here's a little something for you rebels out there. DJ Piper. Make us move, Melody! <laughs> well played, Melody. A plus. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different